What's up? So I'm guessing since you hit play, you're interested in the FSC Precision Elite Scissor. Uh, I want to give you a quick breakdown of what that scissor is all about, what I like to use it for, and just to help your buying experience be a little bit better. The FSC Precision Elite is made with Japanese VG10 steel. We sourced one of the best steels out there to make sure that this scissor would last you a lifetime. That's why it has a lifetime guarantee. Also, Japanese VG10 steel holds its edge for a very long time, so you get multiple haircuts before before you actually have to sharpen the scissor. But another question you might have, if you're interested in sharpening your scissor or when you need to sharpen your scissor, we have an amazing partnership with Bart Chen. Uh, so you can just click the link, hit the sharpening link uh, in our website. So the FSC Precision Elite Scissor comes in four different sizes. We have five, five and a half, six, and six and a half inch. Five inch I love for precision cutting, uh, really even the five and a half inch, I'll go to that sometimes as well. If I'm cutting a bob or shorter hair, I really like that shorter scissor. When I get in into longer hair, longer layers. Maybe I'm doing a little deeper point cutting. I go to that five and a half inch scissor or six inch scissor, um, but that's really a preference on how long you like a scissor, but those are all great for precision cutting. Then when you look at the six and a half inch, we still call it precision, but it is literally the best uh, scissor over comb scissor you will use. So if you're a barber or a hairdresser and you cut a lot of short hair in general, uh, maybe the six and a half inch would be best for you as well. So what's more important than a scissor length is the feel of the handle. We did a custom handle on the FSC Elite Series scissors. So the precision, the hybrid, the texture, the blending, um, all have a custom handle. It's the same handle and it's meant to fit like a glove in your hand. When we were designing this, I specifically sent them how I hold scissors and where I would really love for the handle to sit. That's why I can guarantee that this is the most comfortable scissor that you will hold. One of the things that makes this handle so comfortable is the 3D thumb. Uh, it goes three dimensional, so it comes out and also down. Um, so you get that kind of stretch and the depth in the handle. So when you place your hand in this scissor, I find myself most of the time when I'm cutting hair is not having my thumb fully in the scissor. So this allows a lot of versatility when you're working on top of your fingers or cutting uh, palm to palm, um, you just feel like that thumb never gets in your way and it always feels comfortable in your hand. We also uh, put a short finger rest on this scissor. I like that because I do a lot of palming of my scissor, so this finger rest doesn't get in the way, but it's ultra comfortable when I'm doing cutting and it's exactly where it needs to be. Two more features on this scissor, uh, the flat screw, so you're not getting any hair tangled in it, nice sleek appearance to it uh, with the FSC logo, and then also we built up the edge of this blade for power. So when you're thinking about precision cutting, you're cutting wet hair, you're cutting coarse hair, you want the lines in that haircut to be really strong you want a strong blade as well. So the skinnier the blade, the weaker it's going to be. This blade will cut through any type of hair texture and density, and that reinforced edge right there will help you get through it. So hopefully that answers all your questions about the FSE Precision Elite. One of the first things I want you to do when you get the scissor, get it out of the box, take a look at it, feel it in your hand, see how you like it. Check for the finger inserts, whether they're in the scissor or in the case. Put the inserts in if you want to try that, see how that feels, take the insert it's out, feel it that way as well. Then once you feel comfortable with the scissor, if it feels comfortable in your hand, then you have your oil and you also have a tension key that come in the case as well. The oil, all you have to do is you take the lid off and crank this thing about 10 times to get the oil started. Then after that, you only need to crank it a couple times to have oil come out of it, but just give it a, a few cranks until you see oil right here on the bristles. Then once you've done that, all you're gonna do is paint the blade and the inside of the blade on both sides. Then you close the scissor and you've got it oiled. That's really important. I think tension in a scissor is really kind of a personal preference, right? So for me, I like a scissor a little bit tighter because I'm constantly spinning my scissor around and I don't want it to come open. I also do a lot of backhand cutting and I've found that if you have a little tighter tension on your scissor that you get a better cut. So that's just a tip for you guys. What I always do, every scissor that I've taken out of the box, I give it a couple more twists with tension. You'll feel it click each time you go into it. Uh, so a couple clicks and then your tension should be good. You shouldn't feel like the scissor is flying open uh, when you're cutting and your scissor's ready to go. So there you go guys, that's the FSE Precision Elite Scissor.